Pakistan, with a population of over 170 million people, is situated in South Asia and covers an area approximately equal to the land areas of France and the United Kingdom. The River Indus is the water lifeline of the country and flows 2,000 miles from the mountains and glaciers in the north to the Arabian Sea. The monsoon rains began in mid-July and started flooding in the northern areas. Devastation moved south along the Indus River. Millions of people were evacuated to higher ground or were marooned all along the path of the flood. The rains lasted more than six weeks and the floodwaters finally emptied into the Arabian Sea. The loss of livelihood is almost total and complete. The flood submerged 17 million acres of Pakistan's most fertile land, killed 200,000 livestock, and washed away massive amounts of grain. Over 700,000 houses and 4,600 villages have been damaged or destroyed. Infrastructure, businesses, farms, crops, stored grains, schools, and homes have been completely washed away. Over 8 million people have been displaced. IDRF is assisting with relief aid, supplying food, clean water, clothing, shelter, trauma counseling, and medical assistance. IDRF funds are being used to support livelihood initiatives, draining farmlands with lift pumps, salvage residual crops, and working with people to return communities to a semblance of self-reliance. Dr. Qasim Dagani is the chair of the board of IDRF. He is a general surgeon working in Toronto and has volunteered his time and skills to many humanitarian crises, including Haiti, Pakistan earthquake, Kosovo, Bosnia, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Equally dedicated to volunteering is his wife, Dr. Naima Dagani. She is a family practitioner and a passionate supporter of IDRF. We came here, we looked at the areas of devastation, we looked at what was happening, people in tents, people living in horrible living conditions. <laughs> पिछले दिन से ना रोजगार है ना कुछ है। अभी आप विजिट करो हमारे खेमों में इतना हमें यकीन करो ना राशन है। हमारे जो बच्चे हैं वो भी खोराक की कमी उनके चेहरों से भी आपको मालूम हो जाए। खुदारा हमें भीख मांगना भी नहीं आती। सिर्फ अकेले सिर अपने बच्चों को लेके हम चले आए बाइपास पे वहाँ से तकरीबन हमने एक 80,000 की एक गाड़ी करवाई जो हमें कराची तक ले आई हम कुछ भी नहीं लाए वहाँ से सब कुछ हमारा तबाह हो गया है अब जहाँ सब कुछ तबाह होने के बजाय हम यहाँ कैंप में आ गए हैं तो हमारे कैंप में सिचुएशन ये है कि गवर्नमेंट ने सिर्फ हमें सिवाय टेंटों के और कुछ भी नहीं दिया जब बरसात हुई तो जो कुछ हमारे पास था बच्चे थे बच्चे तो आप देखें सारे अब डिजीज़ में पड़ गए हैं बरसात की वजह से सब भीग रहे थे लोगों के आप हालत देखते तो आप आपको रोना आ जाता that in this area, Chasara area, there has been no such clin outpatient clinics to look after the people affected by the floods. So this camp was set up or this clinic was set up about four days ago. Myself and my wife Naima, we are, we are, we are volunteering, we are part of IDRF, we we'll come to visit uh, and do whatever medical volunteer relief work we can do. IDRF is working with local partner organizations to respond effectively to this widespread disaster. 
Volunteers are assembling and delivering health and hygiene kits, first aid, and working with local paramedics and health personnel to provide health education and aid in the affected areas. Waterborne diseases, including cholera, diarrhea, skin diseases, are now becoming prevalent with the lack of sanitation and a lack of clean drinking water. Months of emergency relief work are required as the floodwaters recede. Months and years of rehabilitation and rebuilding will be required to return people to a normal life. Your generous help is needed to respond to this disaster. Donate now to IDRF.